Hi handsome and welcome to my 10th video. This video is going to be special because we are going to be talking about a piece of news that happened in video recently. So let's get right into that. Let me just briefly say what these updates are so that everyone is on the same page. There are now three new updates per video, one of which has already happened and the other two are coming shortly. The one we already got is the new J-Hammer, which works on accessories and prevents them not only from breaking, like crowns would, but also from degrading, making it the de facto best way to enhance the Burka accessories. For those of you who don't have an accessory to use this on, don't worry, the hammer is also sellable on the central market for a small loan of 30 billion silver. The next update is in the form of a new enhancing PD system coming to us westerners in roughly two weeks. It works just like your average gacha game, after a certain amount of failed enhancements, your next one will be 100% guaranteed to go through. The amount of failures depends on the type and level of the item, and this gives an end goal to all of your enhancing and finally fixes the problem of BDO's endgame progression, where it sometimes felt like you are just spinning your wheels with no real progress or end in sight. It is also a great catch-up mechanic, since obviously the more endgame items require more PDs, with endgame accessories not even being available for the PD system at all, as far as I know. The last update is probably the most controversial, Pearlbiz has decided to put a band-aid on your crystals breaking, which has been a very common complaint for about as long as the crystal prices went into the billions. Their solution to this problem is to introduce a cash shop item to increase the amount of crystal recoveries per year by up to three. Boo! I won't really bore you with all the details. There are other creators that can do this way better than I can. I just want to talk about what this actually means for the game and how it will affect the progression of players going forward. Now, there are two interpretations of these updates. The first one is fairly negative. The pity system makes the pay to win of the game a little bit worse because the paying players will obviously hit the pity faster. Now, while I do think that this is a valid complaint, I also think <laughs> that if someone is willing to spend thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars to progress in a game, more power to them. Or at, the, at that point, they are just pay, paying my sub and making sure that I can play the game for free. The Crystal Restore is also kind of pay to win, but to a lesser extent. And since that system has a limit, at least for now, at three additional Crystal Restores per year, it does not seem like that big deal to me. Pay to win games uh, have always been about the freedom of choice of do I want to spend money or do I want to spend time. And as long as we have a certain money to our balance that I think I think Blue Squadron always says it's like $40 per hour, which I do loosely agree with, I am personally fine with this. I do understand why some people might not be though. The hammer was also called an inflation hammer, but this is simply not the case. People call the raising of prices on mid-game items such as the distos and slumbering origin armor pieces as inflation, but that's just the distribution of silver from the endgame players to the newer or mid-game players, and as such this causes a supply and demand issue, right? Since the people Selling the hammers will be mostly mid-game or newer players. The aforementioned items will likely be their next big upgrade. And since they can all, all of these new players, can afford these upgrades at the same time, there is not enough supply for all of them. So the prices of these items will inevitably go up. This is indeed not inflation, because if this was inflation, the rising of prices would be ubiquitous for all items in the game, including endgame items, but if you look at the central market, this is simply not the case. If anything, the hammer has deflated the economy because it removes silver by the tax of the central market. So if anything, it's deflation, not inflation. The good interpretation is, and I believe this one a little bit more than the, than the negative one, that it's a great thing for not only the longevity of the game, since we now have more concrete catch-up mechanics for players who want to enhance, 
and this also makes onboarding a little bit better for new players. The increased ease of enhancing these items will eventually lead to more of these items appearing on the market, making it possible for the players who are completely against enhancing for whatever reason to get their endgame gear as well. For accessories, I think that unless we get another batch of these uh, new J hammers at, for example, Heidel Ball or some other big event, things will eventually return to normal since the supply of these hammers will inevitably run out. And as for the crystals, I don't think the ability to save three more crystals per year will be enough to lower the prices on some of the more expensive and harder to get crystals. But we will have to see if that update even comes to you, which it probably will. Alright handsome, that's going to do it for today's video, it was a little bit shorter because like I said in my previous videos I had other responsibilities to take care of and frankly I just didn't really feel like doing much more recording or editing when I got home so I just chilled a little bit and I also got kind of sick but that's not, not your problem, you should not worry about that. When it comes to the next video it is actually going to be the, the Calpheon story mode, do stay tuned for that, this was not kind of precedented but I wanted to get something out at least and this is that type of easy content that every creator can do so even if i'm kind of stepping on other people's toes a little bit i wanted this to be more of an opinion piece than just telling you what's going to happen with that out of the way i bid you farewell make sure to like and subscribe tell me what your own opinion on this update really is and if you agree with me or not do join my discord please i still am looking for new friends and that's all i have for you today so enjoy your grind